After learning about the formula of the particular integral of higher order differential equations, now we must do the complementary function so that we get able to develop the overall time path which has complementary function as well as the particular integral in it. So we can do this by uh, resorting to this example and the uh, good thing in it is that we don't have to develop any new formula in it. We just need to factorize the given um, uh, equations, characteristic equation because this is the given equation from this we will develop the characteristic equation and if we are able to solve that equation, come if we come up with the roots of it then we can uh, use the same formulas in a, a more um, uh, elaborated way, in a way where we will be gathering more than one cases. This can be better understood if we get into the details of this numerical example. This is a fourth order differential equation as we can see from this uh, superscript and we can extract the values of the coefficients a1, a2, a3 and a4. B is also there which shows that it's a non-zero value and it's a non-homogeneous case. But in case of the uh, complementary function, we resort to the left hand side values that is the coefficients, a's, all of them here we have four a's. Uh, if we remember that in the second order differential equations we had this characteristic equation which was quadratic adjacent to the second order it was second degree equation which is quadratic so uh, in this case if we have a, a, a fourth order differential equation it should give rise to a fourth degree of the characteristic equation and we have written it in the standard form where you can see clearly it is starting with the highest uh, order adjacent value and then the second highest order adjacent value and then the third highest um, adjacent value and then the uh, you know last high uh, order differential equation uh, de uh, de derivative and then the you know original function and it doesn't have any uh, you know um, s superscript because it's going to be r naught because there is no derivative in this case it is the original function so just to remember this we have developed this connection and um, now we are going to solve this this is a uh, this is a algebraic equation with a, a polynomial actually and it has a degree of 4 so uh, it can be a little uh, intricate to come up with the factors of it However, uh, in this example, I'm going to make it easy for you by telling you that the factors of this uh, fourth order polynomial are r plus 2, r minus 2, and then this. All of these, when we multiply, they give rise to this uh, given equation that we have. We can uh, put these values and then we can come up with the answers. Uh, that is, instead of a1, we will put 6. 6 will come here and instead of a2 we will write 14 instead of third uh, a3 I will write 16 and instead of a4 I will write 8 so in this way I will come up with the equation where r will be the unknown and we will have the co coefficients in numerical way and then its factorization will give us this equation that I have already solved for you so this uh, has three parts uh, that we can uh, make for the better uh, understanding of this um, product. It has a linear function and there again there is a linear function. Then we have a quadratic equation. So these uh, are three parts of it. We can solve them separately because it is equal to zero this expression. It means either or all of them are equal to zero. So solving this will give us the value of r, which is minus 2, which we can call r1. And this we can call as r2. This would be 2. And this would be r3 and r4. And, uh, you know, we can extract the value of a, b, c, just like we solve any quadratic formula. And using that, we can get the values of r1 and r2, r3 and r4, to be more precise, in terms of its subscript. You can do it yourself. It's an easy thing, quadratic formula. 
So when we write it in this way, it appears as a complex root case. So we will have to write H and uh, V or Upsilon to make it clear the parts of it. Summarizing the hybrid uh, group of roots. Now we are calling it a hybrid group because two of them are distinct real roots and these two are complex roots. So now we don't have one kind of the roots. There are two nature of the roots. Now the thing is that we have to write all of them because they are roots of the same equation. That is the characteristic equation of the given fourth order differential equation. So we have to combine all these roots in one uh, complementary function. Here we are mentioning that these two roots are actually distinct real roots and these two roots are conjugate complex roots because only difference is the sign plus minus in between their um, real and imaginary parts that is real part and the imaginary part. So now we combine them in one equation of complementary function which is ha now in a hybrid nature because the first two roots can be written in this way and we can say that this will give rise to a distinct real root segment of the overall YC. This is based upon first distinct real root. This is based upon the second real root. And this one, uh, this whole expression is based on the complex roots. And H can be substituted here. And V is also introduced here in the angles multiplied with time. So uh, this is the complex root segment where uh, H is introduced here and V is introduced alongside with T as the angle of cos and sine. So we can see that there are two segments of this uh, complementary function in which distinct real roots are involved as well as complex roots, complex roots are involved. It's a combination of more than one types of the roots. It can happen that we have more than one types, one natures, all three can be present depending upon the number of roots or even one type can be repeated for all the roots but it all depends upon the given differential equation that we are trying to solve. So it is a kind of situation in which we should not be surprised if we have more than one types of the roots and it is very easy to solve because there isn't any new formula in it. All what we need to do is to develop the characteristic equation and then solve it by using the factorization. So now we have done the complementary function of a higher order differential equation as well. If we have a fifth order differential equation, there will be five roots of it and so on. So now we can combine them and we can come up with the time path of a higher order differential equation by summing the particular integral and the complementary function that we have learned in this and the last video. Thank you.